This is the MXP50 power amplifier for QRP radios. And this is the same setup as I used in the previous video where I tested the power output of the X6100 here. Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India. But before we go ahead and test the uh, amplifier here, uh, a couple of comments pointed out some errors in my methodology uh, regarding testing the uh, 6100, where I used AM and not CW, and the power output on AM was a tad bit high. So we're gonna test it on uh, CW. And since I don't have a key, I've loaded the uh, X6100 here with uh, the R1 CBU firmware which lets me use a PTT button um, on the radio to uh, key down on CW. And we're not going to do every band. We're just going to do, let's say, two bands. Let's do 20 and 40 just to check the output there and see what it's like. So let's start out on 20. Let's go to 14, 11.5. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's turn the volume all the way down here. And let's just check the transmit power, 10 watts. So let's key down on uh, 20 and see how much power it's got without an amplifier. So 20 CW mode with no amplifier. And would you look at that? That's a solid 10 watts. Let's go to 40 and check 40 just to be sure. So we're within the CW person of 40. Let's just double check that we're still on. Uh, that we're still on 10 watts. We're still on 10 watts. And let's key down. And that's a solid 10 watts there as well. So even though my methodology was a tad bit flawed here, um, it's still got full 10 watts out. Why it's so high on AM, I don't really know that, but um, we'll dive into that at a later point. Now on to this little guy. So let's hook it up, um, put some power and some RF through it, and uh, see how it performs and how much power it's got. And this amplifier is made to be driven with a 5 watt input, so let's turn the power down to 5 watts first. And with the power down to 5 watts, let's change to 80 meters. 3525. That's all right for a test, isn't it? Let's turn the amplifier on. Select 80 meters on the amplifier. And let's key down and see. And you might have noticed that the radio was not in CW mode. It is now. So let's key down and see. And that's about 30 watts on uh, on CW on 80 meters. Now let's change it to 40, change the amplifier to 40 meters. Press the uh, key here and see how much power it's on 40. A little bit more than 30 watts, 35-ish watts there. And now 30 meters, let's set it to CW. Flip the amplifier to the 30 to 17 meters here and key down. That's about 35-ish watts there. 20, already in CW mode, let's key down and see. Mm, almost 40 watts on 20 meters. Let's change it to 17 meters. Seventy meters ago, and what you see here is some. I think it's some noise from the radio. Actually, it seems to be following around where I go. Let's change it to CW, and let's key down. And about thirty-five watts on um, seventeen meter, fifteen meters. Let's set it to CW. Let's flip the amplifier to fifteen to ten, and let's key down. About 30 watts on 15 meters. 12 meters. And set so to CW and key down. 
about 35 watts on 12. And 10 meters, let's set it to CW there as well. And press the PTT or the key or whatever you want to call it. About 30 watts on 10 meters. So, is this within what I expected on the uh, MXP50M? Yeah, it is. Does it provide a lot of extra benefit? Depends on the radio you have. If you have a 5 watt QRP radio, it actually provides quite the, <laughs> quite the boost. If you got a G90 or another 20 watt radio, I probably would have probably would think twice about getting one of these. As with the X6100 here, with its 10 watt output, it's somewhere in between, but it's still one of the cheapest amplifiers you can get for a QRP rig. And it's not half bad, at least from the tests I've done. I haven't checked the spectral purity of it though. Um, that's one of the tests that are coming up. But for me, it at least gives the feeling of some kind of benefit. It gives that little boost that will help you through a pileup, that will help you get heard on parks on the air. So for me, this is a, a nice amplifier to have. It's not a need to have, it's a nice to have. And power levels are within what I expected, as I said. That's it for now. Don't forget to like, leave a comment down below, and uh, to consider subscribing. And if you want to support the channel, take a look down below. There are a couple of ways to do that. That's it for now. Until next time, 7-3.